Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you my new Karyakin backrest I got from my 2021 Gold Wing. Uh, this is also made so it fits a 2018 plus right up to the latest. So let's get it unboxed, take a look at it, see what it looks like, and if I have time, then we'll in go install it on my Gold Wing. I uh, ordered this online from Fort 9 and uh, it just got shipped out to me no problems everything went good first we got some uh, little installation bolts here the tag on here I will uh, put a video on the screen or a picture to show that we got what looks like a bracket here for under the seat Uh, this is probably the piece that goes in the seat for the uh, adjusting rod to go down through for the back support and there's nothing else in the box yeah it's a very nice looking box for what that's worth let's open this up and have a look to see what the, uh, the uh, backrest looks like Oh, that's really attractive looking. That's really nice, really nice material. Well made. Uh, you can see the different adjustments on right here. Obviously there's a swivel point here, so uh, it's made so it can, it can fold down when you're getting on and off the gold wing. Uh, what else have? It's got a, a a nice like a nylon material pouch on the back the sewing the stitching is really nice really soft really soft guys so that is that part let's have a look in here this is the piece that fits down into your seat and it enables the backrest to slide down through and gives you protection for your seat probably from the elements it looks to be well it's a nice rubber kind of material we've got right there let's have a look in here see what we got everything is uh, wrapped up well that's for sure and here is the bracket that goes underneath the seat uh, very, very nice bracket, really about, what's that quarter inch thick approximately. So basically this will go underneath your seat. This will go down over the top. And then this piece will obviously go inside like that. And uh, that should be good. Look at this guys, look at this, great quality. I don't know if you can see how thick that is. That is solid. That is solid. And in here we got some uh, little uh, cap screws and such for the installation. So uh, we shall see how that works out. Let's go to the bike, take a look. All right guys, let's give this a go here. First of all, what nobody tells you to do if you've got a painted exhaust black one like this is very very easy to scratch it's not like chrome so before you do anything slide a very soft little towel in here like this that will prevent the edge here from scratching your exhaust next open your saddlebag so now you're ready to take this panel off right here. So the way to take this panel off, put the back footrest down. Then you got several points that need to be released. Start at the bottom here to release it. After you get the bottom released here, I just had this off to make sure. After you get the bottom one released here, move to the back. Fingers in here and you just carefully 
pry this out. Don't try to rip it all the way out, just, just to right there and just, just leave it. Then go up top, right here. Easy. It just pops out. Now it's just sitting there. Take it very easy. You see the way this would have scratched right here? Very easy like that. Let the bottom down. And just wiggle it out slowly. Just rotate it. Here is what we were trying to release. That one, this one, this one, and this one. We're in those rubbers. They just push in those rubbers right here, here, and here. So when you're just pulling them out, you're just pulling straight out to release those. On the right side of your motorcycle, you have the connector for your heated seat. You have to disconnect this wire because this wire is attached to the seat. When you remove the seat, it's got to go up in between the frame rail. So how you do that? This is connected together here. And it's in this spot here. You can see it's not going to be that big of a deal to get it back in there. It's just pushed in. So you just release these two little tabs here. Push it back. You do a little finagle and get it out. So these are these little tabs right here. That's all. They're very easy to push. When it's sitting there, turn it around a little bit like that. Push this tab. Push it towards the wires. Push it in. Like push it that way. Grab the bottom housing and just pull it apart like that. Try not to hit your paint. It didn't get nothing. So now we're ready to take the seat off. Okay. That's the deal. How do we take the seat off? Okay, guys. I'm glad you asked me that. Let's set up the camera again now. You see this the grommet right here where the cover was held on the very very front one right here I'll back up so you can see okay just in right there just keep that in mind if you can see in over the top of it you'll see a bolt for the seat right in here see it right there okay six millimeter guys when you go to turn that, it's going to really be hard to turn, then it's going to like make a snap. So, I've already broke them loose. Not a big deal. Just grab your tool and spin them out. And be careful not to drop them because they're going to go down inside your engine here. And uh, that's not going to be fun to try and get them out. So just be careful. Hopefully they stick right on your uh, Ellen screw driver here careful and here they are what you don't want to do is drop this washer and there they are there's no tapered head so when you go to put this in you have to be really careful to line the seat up correctly so this is the bolt I already have the other side taken apart no good as you know two sides and uh, so when we set up the camera again, we'll do something different. We're going to take our cloth. This front part of the seat here has got to come up, and then the seat has got to go forward. But when we pull it up, you'll see there's uh, like dowels in here. You don't want it to scratch the paint. So we first see if we can get it to pop up. It should be, should be a little tough to get up first time. Okay, so there it is, it's up. Feed that cloth in. As much as you can get it right now, like this. When I get the seed off, I will show you the dowels that are causing the issue. So, this is gonna be the same for remove and install. So now, you see my, my uh, 
covers here are protected. The seat is already on both on the left on the right and the left side. So now we're going to try and walk it ahead, pull it up and walk it ahead a little bit. And again it pops up and walk it ahead. And there it is broke loose. Okay, so now before we lift it off, let's check the wiring over here. And there is the wire we disconnected earlier. Here are the dowels on the front that were really close. They go down here. We put the cloth to keep those over we'll pulling the seat ahead so we didn't scratch up here. That is the purpose of this. All right, first things first, guys. Make sure you have everything that was in the package, your instructions, and it, it gives you a list of everything here, your, your backrest, your bracket, the plug, the four uh, T-nuts, the four cap screws here, the thumb screw, and this uh, little screw here. Some people call these a grub screw, but it's a, a, there's a spring in, in this one. They have a, a special name on it there, a spring plunger for this one. So make sure you have that. And then what tools you need. Uh, unfortunately, I, I have a metric uh, 4.5 millimeter. And I believe these are a standard because this one is a, li a little bit, a little tiny bit loosener. But seeing as how that's all I got, that's what I'm getting to do the job with. In the instructions, if you read through, it says to use a little bit of Loctite. I use the blue because this stuff, you can actually take bolts back out if need be. If you use red, you're in big trouble. It will not release. And a flathead screwdriver. So, you're all ready. You got the seat there. Okay, let's take a look. If you have a newer model Goldwing, you'll find there's already a place in the seat here as a plug which comes out to allow you to install your uh, backrest. Let's just turn it over. Okay, so the first step is we got to remove this plug in here. Which is uh, rubber side up. Heard, but there it is. And it just drops out the back side. It says discard, you're not going to use this anymore. Uh, I keep it if you ever want to take this backrest off and move it to another bike at some point and reuse this seat. It's good to have this to put back before you sell the bike or whatever you're going to do. So now we got that out, we'll have a look. And there it is, it's just removed. No big deal. So next you're going to install these T-nuts, there's a place one slide in here, 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 and here. And it tells you in the instructions to put a little bit of tape. I just use regular scotch tape, these two are done. And you just basically slide them into position and just put a little bit of tape across here just to keep them from sliding out. But do not cover the hole, you won't be able to get the screw in here. Just a little bit around here, and if they're a little bit loose, that's okay. So you can see here, the tape, I just put a little bit across here, across here, here, and here. Remember keeping this open, so your screws can still go in. If you don't do that, these will just fall out, because this is angled like that. These ones will stay, with this one they'll just fall out. And I do have the end of the seat propped up a little bit so I can work on it. Okay, here's the next part guys. Here's why you had to do this. Once you put this in, and slide it through, and it's going to be a little bit difficult to slide in. There. This is in place. Now you can see the T-nuts right here. Those would have fallen out in here and you would not be able to install the cap screws. Now we're placing some Loctite on the threads. There's a little four cap screws here. I got 
three already done. Just uh, you don't need a lot. Just uh, a little bit like that, and install these. Then making sure that the T nuts are not after spinning or anything; they're all still in place. And especially the top ones that could possibly slide down. Make sure they're still all back up where they should be. You just tighten down your cap screws, but don't don't over tighten these guys. Remember, they're just holding into plastic, and you don't want to break the back of your seat or strip out the uh, those little screws. Just easy does it. Just. You guys know. You, you, you know what it feels like when a, a screw is just tight enough and you think, okay, if I go any more, something's going to break. Well, when you get that feeling, just stop. Don't over tighten it. They don't go really that tight. So, this part is already installed now. That's on there. They're locked tight. It's in place. It's not going to go anywhere. So, that's the underneath part. A uh, couple of things I want to show you now. Remember when I was taking the seat off? I lifted the front up and then I pulled the seat ahead a little bit. That's because on the seat, if you look down here, which is, I get the seat upside down so you can get an idea where we're looking at, right in, in this area right here. These, they go down into a little cutout and when you push, you pull this so that this comes out of the cutout to take the seat off, take it off. And to go back on, you put it down and you slide the seat back. And when it do, this catches and holds the back part of the seat. And then the front part, this is where the two bolts go through, left and right side. And when I lifted up the front of the seat, these are the pieces to do sort of like dowels that are down into the rubber grommets. So. I hope that gives you an indication of what's going on and of course the cable for the heated seat which is part of the seat and it's attached all the way around you're not going to remove any of that that's going to stay exactly where it is don't even undo it don't touch it you don't need to do anything with it if you look at the backrest we got these little divots there is a spring screw that comes in the kit. And when it's tightened in, this is spring loaded, so as you adjust it up or down, it sort of falls into the little divots in the backrest bracket right here. You're supposed to do this part on the motorcycle because it's so dark down in the underground parking. I'm going to attempt to do it here. Uh, I'll just show you how it works. This screw has got to go in here. You've got to press down on the seat. Once you have this little screw started here, it is a flat head, so when you go to adjust it, you will just need to press down on the seat. It's a flat head screwdriver, and turn the cap screw clockwise to tighten it up, counterclockwise to loosen it. Just a tiny bit at a time. So now it's, I can move it up or down a little bit and I can feel it. I'm going to go just a tad more, a little bit. You want to be able to pull it out if need be or put it back in. You've got to feel it going to each, each one. That's good. You'll always get that little bit of play there. And of course, you can fold down to uh, go on or off the bike. And once you get this adjusted, I would recommend that when you uh, place this on your bike, uh, if you normally wear a riding jacket or something like that, that goes way down on your back, use whatever clothing you're going to use, your riding jacket, riding gear, whatever, and then set up your seat to match that, your backrest. You put it on and you got a little thumb screw right here. Once you get it set, I would just back it off a little tiny, put a little tiny bit of uh, maybe blue Loctite on here, uh, like a milder Loctite, just on the adjusting screw. Do not use something like red Loctite, 
So I'll just turn this on the side, see how we look. Uh, one thing I didn't mention earlier, I showed you the, the little divots here that it slides into. I didn't mention the two on the back also. So when you sit it down flush, you'll have your rag here to protect the front, or cloth, or whatever. This slides in, and this slides in. Boom, boom, just so you can see that. And that's what she looks like right there. Now I think we'll probably go down and install this. Last step to install this piece. Just get that down there. And it should go in fairly easy. It's made for it. Right? Look at that guys. That fits really well. Now you put this piece in. Well guys, this is the moment. Let's see if we can get the seat on. Of course I got my cloth here to protect it. Let's see if it sits down here first. Once you get your seat all the way down in place, the front's got to clip down. I was having a little bit of a struggle. There's some little white dowels there. They got to go in the grommet right here and just press straight down. Now we'll make every attempt to put these cap screws back in without losing the washer. And just leave it loose till you do the other side. Once the other side is all started, just come back and tighten this one up on this side. Our seat's back on. The wire's here, everything is good. You clip this back together. And this is where we're gonna get it back in here. Gotta play with it a little bit. There it is. I just clip it in. Just like that. There it is. All in place. There it is, guys. You put this one on next. This side cover here. And we go around to the other side. Well guys, here's the finished product. Backrest installed. We'll do the walk around like uh, GB winging it. This is uh, his all famous walk around. Send him out a little tribute, 2021 Goldwing Tour, backrest installed.